terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains, rabid and ravenous. He bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the Vilar King for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Three children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes. Their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! Is the time of madness and disdain. Hello everyone, welcome to some uh, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, I was not going to pick up this game, but uh, Matt, who I've been playing a way out with, is absolutely loving this game, so I thought I'll give it a go. I tried to get the Steam version, but apparently now you just can't get it without spending about 32 quid. I'm like, I ain't paying 32 quid for this game, no chance. So I went for the, the GOG, the GOG version. No, I can't have uh, odd numbers. And um, I thought I'll give it a give it a shot. This ain't going to be no playthrough because you know the last few games I have really, really struggled to commit to a game, like uh, from start to finish. And apparently, it was a hundred hours estimated. Um, before the expansions, and uh, with the expansions, it's came up to about 150 hours. So I just thought I would mess about, get a few videos, and and really see what my mate is talking about, because he is seriously gagging on some Witcher 3 uh, penis. Uh, control settings. That seems about right, yeah. 
This is end menu, so what about end game? Uh, stick? No. Hair, hair works preset. I don't think I, I quite need. Oh, I've, I've only got two options really. Uh, medium. I do this. I like I always turn down the settings simply because uh, when I'm recording, I like to have a little bit extra juice. Um, just to make sure that my game isn't like like all fucked up. We'll see when we get by, uh, we get into it. New game! What's this? Fresh, fresh start. Short sure, right, yeah. Simulate Witcher 2 save. What does that mean? Is that the same guy? Like, I'm not a big up on the Witcher-ness. Like, did he come back alive with a crow flying through his dome? going to smoke all these guys. Presenting. That guy, he has basically got the same haircut as me, except his hair is slightly longer, and I ain't bullshitting you. 
But his little ponytail action at the back is slightly longer than mine, but I basically have the same haircut as him. Oh, my penis! You know I don't find that amusing. Oh, hey, yes. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> you promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Fucking hell, man. Look at that. That guy makes me look like a saint. So... Oh, the husband's Please, deeper. Mm. Jesus. See you later. Give me some sugar. Yeah. I'll be casually sitting here naked reading my book. I'll see you later. Yes. Sensitivity now. Yeah, we're good. Meow, meow. Where's your wife's eyes to find the key? Uh, hold drink this button. Wait. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Is it in this, uh, this BH's uh, cleavage? Maybe? Night! Pacha! See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. Not to mention unreasonable. Let's be unreasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Let's get ah, down. So that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Oh, this is bollocks. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. I'm seeing some dust coming off of this motherfucker. I feel like it's important. Yeah. No. Over here. There we go. No, let me jump. Can I sprint? No, I can't. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Okay. 
guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. She's you young. that about her. <laughs> Fine. Stubborn. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. why you were so eager to practice. Strike! are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please! I'd rather clean the stable. Read, bitch! End of discussion. <laughs> Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Jesus, I'm like, wait, like, I immediately went to Assassin's Creed. Oh no, so that's okay, I can jump that. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. What? Oh, see, like, I'm doing that again. I don't even know where to go. Siri, cut it out. Uh, how do I get down the hole? Oh, right, really? I win. Your legs are longer. I seriously went like full Assassin's Creed there, like, what the hell? Why can't I claim this post as beam? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, 
Knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with the dummy. <sighs> Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals, or go right to free training? And the city game, fundamentals. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! What? How did I draw my sword? Boom! One, two, three. <laughs> Strong strikes again. now. Give it all you like got. Never lock your elbow when striking. Your right. oh, Position, Siri. Footwork. Yeah. Remember. Oh my God! I'm definitely gonna have to change uh, change over controller. Fuck this. See how Geralt holds his sword, it's angle. Ah! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? What the What am I supposed to parry? Fighting a stupid dummy. Pretend now, live later. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Maybe a storm's coming. Come on! At them! Slice your jugular! Come on! Come on, Vizania! Yeah, you got it! Had enough? Take that! What? Slice your jugular! Oh, you see, I had it there and I fucked it up. I was like, I fucked up the team. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. To bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Quaint. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. No. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See? If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. All right, Geralt. Come on! Stop showing off, Geralt. 
See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Just time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Axie can really muddle your mind. Heard enough. Show her, Geralt. What? Lost your nerve? See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Fucking you up, old man. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. I'm too old for this shit. What? Hold up. He met the one highly to train and then pressed the road to least well. He keeps him for this fool. What? Oh right, I got it. Boom! Fine! Enough! Continue training at will! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the <laughs> fuck? Set it polishing all the swords at Care Moy. Find that helmet. Siri. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. 
little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Pass necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. So I don't pack up air uh, over there. Do pick up gear from these fools. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going.
We going? Help me! Help! Jesus. Has my teacher seriously been taken down with this like asshole? Oh no, he's already he's wounded. But he's still with us. Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. God, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. to be bad but uh, we'll leave it for now you don't owe us anything you were in need we helped and they call witches heartless say they won't lift a finger without pay they also say mice are born of rotting straw back to the trail like I said leads to the main road and ends there muddled you seek someone yes a woman Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure. Could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In a forest of the mountains, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. We'll eat myrtle grass during the hungry game. Kings do the fighting. Men too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. What was that? I felt like he did the sound of what the horse should make. <laughs> oh, some guy's gonna have too much to drink and I'm gonna have to sort him out. Yeah, I think so. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'm playing on keyboard for now, but I might have to switch over to control. Freaks. 
can I be hitting that ult and shit? That's going to fuck me up so hard. Beg your pardon <laughs> for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. I may have, I've had... Folk are jumping mm. around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Bad Already had the pleasure. pleasure. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Um, options marked with will open the shop panel. Uh, Show me what you got behind the counter. Double click on it to purchase it. So what have I got? What's this? So I've got 250? Is that what it's saying? Yeah, this is my gold over here, I'm assuming. Where's the help? Fifty-five. Whoops. Um. I don't even know what I was doing there, but fuck it. Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Contract on that Griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. No, it was my turn. Built a nest nearby. The Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Thanks for everything. you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Black One's been out measuring the fields. You cannot save your game right now. What Let the fuck is go. that? Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Lines, eh?